Hi guys, I'm Seamus. I'm the greatest player that never got a chance to play, and this is Get to Know Me on Quizme. How do I outwit, outlast, outplay? Well, I had a grand scheme with a lot of great ideas, and none of them came about. Um, I think going out on a swing vote of anything was, was just heartbreaking. I'd much prefer to go out on a landslide uh, than a swing vote, but the chips fell and that's where they landed. My high point uh, for, for Survivor would probably be the whole, the whole thing. I mean, I was, I was so exhilarated throughout the whole, uh, the whole process. I don't think I've ever been happier than I was amongst all of that chaos and, and all of that backstabbing that was going on. In light of it being me doing most of it, uh, it was fun. I think my low point uh, was definitely not finding the idol. I searched high and low, every corner, every nook, I could not find it. And that was just very frustrating. Um, yeah, nighttime was always tough. I mean, your clothes are always wet. It's freezing cold. Uh, and you're with total strangers that, to be honest, you don't really like. Uh, funniest and most memorable moments, uh, I would say the whole, whole experience is memorable. Um, funny, yeah, I know it's, not, not much funny, funny things happen on that island. Um, it was uh, more of a serious game for me, definitely. I would say the worst moment for me on the island was when I realized that uh, Shauna and Annelise had flipped on me. It was a nonsensical move. Um, it was reckless and they were just trying to prove a point with no long-term strategy approach. It was such a shotgun sort of angle. Uh, it didn't make sense to me and I really hope that they don't go any further um, than they are now. Yeah. The Survivor contestant most likely to become a true friend in the future. Um, I would say Vusi, definitely. Me and him got along very well. Great guy. Uh, and Josie, yeah, she was, a, she was a lot of fun. She knew the game well. And it was great bouncing ideas off her. She really had a long-term strategy in mind. Uh, and it was quite a relief to have someone to actually talk about strategy and not what their kids do and bloody where they live and all that stupid they spoke about. Wretched, that's a strong word, hey? Wretched. Um, yeah, no, I, I can't think of anyone that was wretched. I would say reckless, definitely. A again, Shane, reckless, didn't make sense to me. I mean, she's probably a great person. If I met her at a bar and we had a couple of beers, we'd probably be friends. Uh, but on, on that island playing the game, mm -mm, doesn't make sense to me. Biggest life lesson learned, humility. <laughs> Although that's not quite coming across, you can feel. <laughs> No, I was eating humble pie, hey, after that tribal council. Um, but no regrets, definitely not a single thing. Um, I played the game I wanted to play. And yeah, and the cards fell where they fell. My prediction for the winner going forward, um, I think from the Mindanao tribe, Tevin for sure. He's got a lot of pull in that tribe. He's positioned himself nicely. He's, he's not so much in the alpha male role. Um, and he's very meticulous in his wording and how he positions himself in certain scenarios. Um, I'm be definitely backing him. Uh, from our tribe, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see Vusi and Josie, Josie go through. Um, I, think, I don't think they, they have it in them to really be as ruthless as they need to be to make it to the end and, and win the votes. Uh, to see someone win votes for just playing the nice guys is not a survivor I want to be a part of. Nico, yeah, um, look, it, it's, in terms of surviving, I think, yeah, in a group of people, anyone can survive on an island. In terms of the game, I'd have to you know, have a real conversation with him to see where his head's at and to see how he thinks. Uh, you never know until you have that conversation. Panagio. P-A-N-A-G-I-O. Panagio. If I was actually stranded on the island, the three things I would need would be flint to make fire, tarpaulin for shelter, and a water bottle to collect water. What to never do on the island? Um, yeah, I think what, what you should never do playing the game is to ostracize yourself completely. It's okay to ostracize yourself within an alliance and to put yourself on a chopping block for the ultimate strategy. Um, but separating yourself and having an emotional breakdown and, and not contributing uh, where you can, both socially uh, and providing for the tribe, I think would be a, a big mistake. What shows did I miss while I was on the island? Um, any show that I get into, I'll just stream the full seasons in one shot. Um, so yeah, there's nothing I really missed. I don't really watch live TV, unless I'm on it. What I missed the most on the island was a black label court and a Starvis in red. 
hands down. <laughs> My favorite channel on DSTV is Mnet Channel 101 for sure. My preferred device to binge or stream content is uh, my cell phone or my laptop, for sure. The three qualities I value most in a person would be ambition, uh, loyalty, and courage. People that aren't afraid to sort of step out of their show and, and try something new. The most famous person that I would love to have lunch with would be DJ Khaled because then he can look me in the eye and say, congratulations, you played yourself. <laughs> My ultimate holiday destination is the Philippines, hands down. It's the only place I've been to. Bucket list dream, uh, New York City, for sure. To work and live in New York City. You can stream Survivor on DSTV now.